in her question says, can I make istikhara for someone else? The hadith which is narrated by Jabir ibn Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with him and his father. He said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam used to teach us l'istikhara as he used to teach us uh, the surah of the Quran, which indicates that the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam was very keen to teach us how to pray istikhara and memorize its dua, its invocation to every person, like it is one of the chapters of the Quran. Then he went on to explain how to offer istikhara according to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. فَإِذَا هَمَّ أَحَدُكُمْ بِالْأَمْرِ فَلْيَرْكَعَ رَكَعَتَيْنِ مِنْ دُونِ الْفَرِيضَةِ ثُمَّ الْيَقُلْ Then he quoted the dua. That indicates that really every Muslim should learn how to pray istikhara. Why? Because definitely every person has to make serious decisions. Decisions which will determine his or her fate uh, and or anything that is serious in their life. It's not only about marriage and traveling. There are many serious things in the life of every individual. Signing up with this class, going to the school, uh, doing whatever. So it requires every Muslim to be aware of how to pray istikhara. If this is the case, that would waive the suggestion of if somebody can do istikhara in my state. Why? Because you already know how to pray istikhara. So according to the hadith, it prescribes al istikhara for the person who is about to do something or make a decision, not on behalf of others. And the person would receive the feedback himself, not others. Because when he consulted Allah the Almighty and said, Oh Allah, if you know that this choice is good for me in this life of this world and in the hereafter, then make it easy for me. But if in your infinite knowledge you know that this choice is bad for me with regards to the life of this world, and with regards to my hereafter or return, then take it away from me and keep me away of it and choose for me what is best. So this feedback, this feeling of whether to do or not to do would happen to me, not to others. So that's why I highly recommend that every person should offer Salatul Istikhara on their own and every person should make an effort to learn how to pray Salatul Istikhara instead of being lazy and asking others to pray Istikhara in their state. Because it is not something that you'll do it once or twice or a few times in your life. It's something that you're going to need it on a regular basis. Wallahu ta'ala a'la wa a'la.